the world has just witnessed a development that could change everything. This isn't ordinary news. It's a technological earthquake. Huawei isn't just grappling with sanctions. It's quietly rewriting the rules of the global semiconductor game. For decades, the West has dominated chip making, with giants like Intel and TSMC leading the charge, and EUV lithography, the most advanced precise chip making technology, serving as the crown jewel. EUV, or extreme ultraviolet lithography, allows the creation of chips so tiny, so intricate, that they power the smartphones, AI systems, and supercomputers driving our modern world. These machines are engineering marvels. Built by ASML, a Dutch powerhouse, each EUV system costs more than $350 million and contains thousands of precisely engineered components, the product of decades of relentless innovation. China, by contrast, has been shut out. U.S. sanctions and export restrictions prevented access to these machines, and experts warned that it could take a decade or more for China to catch up. Without EUV, producing the smallest, most powerful chips seemed impossible. But what many assumed would slow China down only ignited a bold response. Now, credible reports confirm that Huawei is testing its own EUV machine at its Dongguan facility, with trial production slated for late 2025 and mass production targeted for 2026. This isn't a rumor. Sources within the industry are confirming it. China is attempting a technological leap that was considered unthinkable targeting 3-nanometer chip production, a breakthrough that could shake the foundations of the global semiconductor industry. The path to this moment began in 2019, when the U.S. imposed sanctions that cut Huawei off from critical American chip-making tools. ASML, under pressure, halted shipments of EUV systems to China. Huawei's domestic partner, SMIC, was stuck with deep ultraviolet DUV technology capable of producing chips down to 7 nanometers, but hitting a hard ceiling below that. For many, this seemed like a dead end. China's ambitions in advanced chip making appeared to be blocked entirely. Yet, rather than surrender, Huawei and China doubled down. They poured billions into research and development, mobilized their top engineers, and began constructing a domestic EUV ecosystem from scratch. This wasn't just survival. It was a strategic declaration of independence. Universities, private companies, and state-owned enterprises were coordinated in a massive multi-year campaign toward semiconductor self-reliance, rivaling efforts usually reserved for national emergencies or wartime programs. And now, the results are emerging. Huawei is exploring a new approach called Laser-Induced Discharge Plasma, or LDP, which differs fundamentally from the laser-produced plasma technology that ASML uses. While ASML's systems rely on powerful lasers to vaporize tin droplets and generate EUV light, LDP employs high-voltage electric discharges between electrodes to achieve the same 13.5 nanometer wavelength required for EUV lithography. This method is more compact, less complex, and potentially far cheaper than the massive, billion-dollar ASML machines. The cost implications alone could disrupt the global semiconductor equipment market. If Huawei can scale this technology, it would represent not only a technological triumph, but also a dramatic shift in the global balance of power and chip making. The stakes are enormous. This isn't just about faster smartphones or more efficient computers. It's about national security, economic influence, and technological dominance. For decades, the West has tightly controlled the supply chain for advanced chips, making access to EUV a strategic weapon. Now, China appears to be cracking that code. LDP-based EUV is already under trial at Huawei's Dongguan site, and a major Chinese firm, widely rumored to be leading lithography innovation, filed a patent for the technology in 2023. In a few short years, what seemed impossible is becoming reality. China may soon possess homegrown EUV technology capable of producing chips that rival the most advanced Western designs. The implications are staggering. If Huawei succeeds, the global semiconductor landscape could be turned upside down. Western dominance in chip making, long considered unassailable, would be seriously challenged. Companies, governments, and tech leaders worldwide will have to rethink supply chains, strategy, and the very architecture of the industry. This is not a distant possibility. It's unfolding right now. The race is accelerating, and the outcome could redefine the rules of technological power for decades to come.
In a world where technology is the ultimate currency, China's EUV breakthrough isn't just a story of innovation. It's a story of ambition, strategy, and a challenge to the status quo. Every chip etched, every machine perfected, signals a shift that could change the way the world thinks about power, control, and possibility. Huawei's gamble may very well mark the beginning of a new era in global semiconductor supremacy, and no one watching this quietly happening revolution can afford to look away. If everything goes as planned, China could start producing 3 nanometer chips domestically by 2026, potentially breaking through the barriers set by international sanctions. But this isn't just Huawei's story. SMIC, China's leading semiconductor foundry, is playing a major role too. Together, they're not simply trying to catch up, they're aiming to surpass Western technology. A recent report from the South China Morning Post highlighted a breakthrough by Harbin's team in EUV light sources, reaching the 13.5 nanometer milestone. Across China, multiple research groups are achieving parallel advances in EUV machinery, light sources, optics and lithography systems. This level of coordination points to a national strategy rather than scattered individual efforts. Why is 3 nanometers such a big deal? Smaller chips mean higher performance, lower energy usage, and remarkable efficiency. Devices could run AI directly on the phone, cars could operate autonomously with precision, and quantum computing could accelerate dramatically. The jump from 7 nanometer to 3 nanometer isn't just incremental, it's exponential. A 3 nanometer chip can hold nearly twice as many transistors in the same space, boosting computing power while cutting energy needs by as much as 30%. Western dominance in this space has fueled everything from NVIDIA's AI supremacy to Apple's iPhone success. If China masters 3 nanometer technology, it won't just enter the competition, it could redefine the rules entirely. If Huawei and SMIC succeed, ASML's near monopoly could crumble. China's own EUV systems would be cheaper and could saturate the market, underpricing ASML's $350 million machines. Ironically, U.S. sanctions seem to have backfired, pushing China's tech sector to accelerate. Huawei's founder told Xi Jinping in February 2025 that chip shortages are easing, signaling strong confidence in domestic production. Even Nvidia is cautioning investors about Huawei's AI chip progress. When the world's top AI chipmaker acknowledges a Chinese rival's advancements, the warning is clear. ASML's CEO said in December 2024, that China was 10 to 15 years behind without EUV, but that gap is closing rapidly. SMIC's 7 nanometer production for Huawei's AI chips already surprised the global market. In 2023, Huawei released smartphones powered by 7 nanometer chips despite sanctions, stunning analysts. SMIC's advanced DUV techniques demonstrated that China could find alternative solutions to complex technological hurdles. If 3 nanometer production arrives in 2026, that timeline will be shattered. However, large-scale production remains a challenge. ASML spent two decades perfecting its ecosystem. Huawei's LDP technology is promising but unproven. Early production issues could delay mass output, and yields might still lag behind TSMC's refined processes. Scaling up lab-grade semiconductor equipment to industrial levels is a massive leap. ASML machines routinely exceed 90% yield, meaning 90 out of 100 chips meet strict quality standards. Huawei will need comparable yields to compete commercially. The West is observing closely, though not yet panicking. This is about more than chips, it's about strategic independence. China wants to end its reliance on Western suppliers. Huawei's Shanghai r and AMP. D-Campus is recruiting seasoned chip engineers to develop lithography machines from scratch. Xi Jinping has made technological self-reliance a national priority, and these EUV trials demonstrate commitment. Semiconductor independence is now treated as a matter of national security, alongside energy and food security. Building a complete EUV supply chain, including mirrors, lenses, and software, is a monumental challenge. China is betting big, but the outcome remains uncertain. Huawei's EUV trials are confirmed. The 3 nanometer goal is real, and China is racing toward a technological leap. Will they surpass the West? It's too early to say, but one thing is certain. The rules of the game are changing. This isn't a story of a small challenger against a giant. It's a giant finding a new weapon of its own making.
By the third quarter of 2025, we'll know whether this machine delivers on its promises. Until then, the world watches closely. The next six months will decide whether China achieves true tech independence or faces another hurdle. But either way, the global semiconductor landscape will never be the same.